South End on Sea. Well, that's it for now. We are back with the late news at 10. Now on BBC One, it's time for the news where you are. Bye bye. Good evening. Standards in public life have been a real issue during Boris Johnson's leadership. That's according to the newly appointed Welsh Secretary. As the list of Conservative candidates continues to grow, Sir Robert Buckland said he wanted to see a quick return to higher standards under the next Prime Minister. Labour and Plaid Cymru are calling for a snap election. Here's our political correspondent, James Williams. Rishi Sunak, Penny Mordaunt, Jeremy Hunt, Suella Braverman and several others standing as candidates in the race to enter Downing Street. More are expected and the new Welsh Secretary refuses to rule himself out. But the Boris Johnson post-mortem continues. Well, standards have indeed been a, a real issue of concern and debate. I personally think that Conservatives should embody the highest standards in public life. I think part of the tradition of being a Conservative is about respect for institutions, respect for the office and respect for uh, political opponents. And I want to see a quick return to that. His predecessor as Welsh Secretary Simon Hart is backing the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak, as is Montgomeryshire MP Craig Williams whilst former minister Stephen Crabb is yet to decide who to support. One thing's for certain, he wants a change of direction. One is there's a style of doing government, which, um, if I'm truthful, I never felt that comfortable with. You know, Boris is very punchy, very pugnacious, um, not afraid to upset the apple cart at times. And then there's the kind of the detail of the policy. And you mentioned the Rwanda deportation scheme there. Uh, I, I'm just a, I'm just sceptical of boiling down very, very complicated, difficult challenges into simple slogans and propositions. Wales' opposition MPs in Westminster are calling for a snap election. Why should the public put up with him for another three months squatting in Downing Street when he's unfit to be Prime Minister? What damage, what more damage is he going to do in the next three months? That's why he needs to go, he needs to go now, and we need not just a change at the top, of government, we need a completely new government, and that's why we need a general election. If we look about the experience of, of how adversity has affected our public services, how that public services then has, has affected our communities, this is exactly what they're going to carry on doing. We desperately need, particularly in Wales, where we've been at the brunt of the effects of Tory cuts, we, we really need a change in government now because the Tory government have run out of ideas and over the last 12 years and more they've done enough damage. But there's no plan for an election and Boris Johnson is set to remain in Downing Street until the end of the summer as the race to replace him gathers pace. Police attended the site of an unlicensed rave in Carfilly County this morning. After receiving reports, people could hear loud music in the early hours. Gwent police say they directed people at the event in Abercarn to leave. Natural Resources Wales says illegal events can have a serious impact on wildlife. Rugby and head coach Wayne Pivak insists the job is not done after guiding Wales to an historic first win against Springboks in South Africa. After losing the opening game in Pretoria, Wales levelled the series against a much-changed South Africa side thanks to Josh Adams' late try and Gareth Anscombe's touchline conversion. The series decider will take place in Cape Town next Saturday. Two really, really tight contests coming down to the last play or plays. So, you know, we, we'd like to think that, you know, we'll put up uh, a fight next week, um, similar to these first two weeks, so that, uh, you know, we, again, we get a, a really, really tight contest, which is what we're after. Scientists reintroducing oysters to a Welsh river say the project is starting to show its first successes. Over a thousand oysters were released in the River Conwy estuary last year and are now starting to breed. Chris Dillon reports. Checking the oyster maternity ward. These special cages have been hanging underneath the boardwalks of Conwy Marina for well over a year now. Each section contains a native oyster. Scientists are now checking to see whether they've started to breed. Oysters um, are ecosystem engineers, so they support a whole variety of species, um, different fish species, shrimp species, um, and provide a home for the, that wildlife. 
They also, each adult oyster is able to filter up to 200 litres of water every day, which is over a bathtub of water. Um, so they're also brilliant at cleaning our coastal waters as well. And that's why conservationists are trying to increase the number of native oysters around the coast of the UK. And this oyster is already doing its bit. The water around it is milky because it contains thousands of microscopic oyster larvae. The next stage in the project is to create an underwater reef in the estuary where the baby oysters can grow to full size. Let's get the latest weather forecast and we have another dry night ahead of us, likely to be an uncomfortable one too, as it remains warm, temperatures not dropping below 13 degrees. And it's more of the same for tomorrow. Some early cloud, but then lots of sunshine, even warmer than this weekend. Highs of 30 Celsius. And that's it from us. But the Words Today team this Sunday evening will have all the latest for you in our next bulletin, and that's after the 10 o'clock news tonight. Join us then. Thanks for your company. Dabo. Goodbye. <laughs>